Guys, exciting times this week. I'm going on a holiday for the first time since February. Not going very far, just going to the country, to the Cotswolds here in England. And so this video is gonna cover six essentials that I need when I go for a weekend away in the country. Okay, essential number one is a good weekend bag. I was always a big backpack user, but when I met my girlfriend, she told me I need to up my bag game. So I've gone and got this weekend bag from Sandquist. They're a Swedish company. This is a wax canvas bag. I've had it for about a year, used it uh, just on weekends away basically, and it's it's incredibly sturdy. As you can see, it's almost like cardboard. It's so, um, so strong and so thick. Definitely recommend checking out Sandquist or any of those other companies that do great weekend away bags and then you'll be well on your way for a great country weekend. Now essential number two is an obvious one. It's a good pair of boots. Now, I'm from Australia, so country walks or at least wet and muddy country walks are not, <laughs> are not a thing. So I needed to uh, get a pair of boots over here that were waterproof and you could take in those muddy fields with the dog walks and that kind of stuff. And for that, I got a pair of wellies. They, these are by a brand called Hunter. They're the the, the one that everyone sees around the place here in England. In Australia, you don't really use them, but they're called gum boots. And I think in America, you just call them rubber boots. But in England, everyone pretty much has one of these when they go out for dog walks and walks in the country. So I've got myself a pair of these. Haven't, haven't used them yet, so I'm gonna use them this weekend. I'll see how they go. Other than that, when you're not out in the field and doing country walks, you're gonna be going to nice pubs and that kind of stuff, but you're still out in the country. So I'm always taking my Red Wing chuckers. I love these boots. They're so comfortable and they're perfect for the country uh, kind of lifestyle out there. So the Wellingtons and the Red Wings are definitely one I'm taking to the country. But also don't forget these country hotels and spas have gyms. Uh, so for that, I always take my trainers to get that early morning run in. So moving on to the next essential on the list and it's tops and those country walks are gonna be cold. There's gonna be brisk mornings and evenings. And you're gonna need something to keep you really warm. And I, I, you're probably gonna guess what I'm gonna say here. And it's gonna be my flathead flannel that I keep banging on about in all my videos. Absolutely love this thing, can't go past it. This is the block check red one uh, from the flathead, obviously. Uh, definitely need a flannel, super, super uh, warm and luxurious feeling. But not, all, not only that is you need a good sweat. So this one is from the Real McCoys. It's their 10 ounce uh, loop wheeled sweat. I've had this for a number of years, not really featured on the channel, but I will in the coming uh, months. Uh, it's just a plain gray sweat. Um, it's got some, I think it's like sheep's lining or something that sheep's wool, lamb's wool, but it's super, super warm. 100% two staples that are coming with me to anywhere, not just the country. So have a go at those. Now moving on to the sweaters. Now I have this camel one from Uniqlo. So it's a super uh, affordable, cheap. Uh, love this love this thing, wear it all the time. Uh, very thick, very warm. Love the color, the camel color. Goes with pretty much everything I have in my wardrobe. And last but not least, it's a cable knit sweat from the Saturdays, New York City. Uh, it's indigo dyed, so it's starting to fade. It used to be proper uh, indigo, and you can see there's fades around the, the edges there uh, where this gets worn down. So nice, chunky cable knit from the Saturdays, New York City. You can get these uh, most places, not just the Saturday, so highly recommend that. And it's navy, it's blue, it goes with pretty much everything you have in your wardrobe. Right, moving on to essential number four and it's bottoms and you can't go past some good denim. Now, the ones I wear most of the time in the winter is the Ironheart 666S. So these ones here, 666S there. Now I love these, they're super heavy. I think they're 21 ounce, I think. I think they're 21 ounce. Extremely heavy. When you first buy these, they're like stiff. They're so, they can almost stand up on themselves. They're, they're like cardboard. but. I wear these only in the colder months and they're incredible. They they sort of mold to your body, like they feel like cardboard and then they mold to your body and you just love putting them on in the winter. Uh, when you go out in the air, it's super cold, you really don't get that onto your, your body. So for me, when you're going country walks and with those welly boots that I was speaking about before, wearing these, uh, perfect for, for that uh, brisk walk in the country. And you know, it doesn't matter if you get a bit of mud on, on you or whatever, but these are, are perfect. And not only country walks, I wear these pretty much all winter uh, when the temperature really, really drops. 
But if you want something a bit more versatile as well, you go with another pair of denim. I, I love a good pair of black jeans as well. They, they, they go with pretty much everything I own. So uh, these are from Pure Blue Japan. Now these are the NC011, so NC11s. They don't make these anymore um, because I don't know why they just discontinued them. These are the double black and they don't fade, but they were replaced with the, uh, I think the new one, the XX019 or 019, uh, which is pretty much the same except it fades. So if you're looking to get something uh, like that, look them up, Pure Blue Japan XX19s. Uh, they, these, these, I've had these for so long uh, and they are, they, I've, I've had them repaired numerous number of times. Um, and I'd probably say these are my favorite jeans that I own. So I'm looking to get the uh, XX19s when uh, I can, uh, maybe um, after Christmas or something like that, so I can wear them into New Year and see what those fades are like. Um, so highly re recommend looking into Pure, Pure Blue Japan. I know I've banged on about them many times before, but they, they last and they are super comfortable. These are, this is a, I think this is 14 ounce and it's, uh, it's just super, super nice. Now moving on to essential number five and it's outerwear. Now we can go and talk for days for about jackets. I can talk about the N1 deck jacket. That's a great country jacket. But for me, I like to layer as well. So I like to have that chunky knit uh, cable sweater or the flannel on there and then put some other stuff over the top. So th I've got my old trusty Chelsea sports quilt from Barber. Uh, I've mentioned it, I think before in my autumn essentials video, it's it's quite thin actually, um, but it's just super nice to just throw over the top. It's quite large in the, in the sleeve. So you can layer, you can have those chunky knit you can have that flannel and then throw this over the top it's got the uh, I think they're kind of like patch pockets that you would expect from Barber it's not waxed so um, it, it's got some kind of uh, waterproofing but not not really much that would have a waxed uh, jacket but it's perfect for the country walks because it's got a lot of room in it so when I wear this you can uh, put everything into your front pockets that's the number one thing I'd probably take to the country first and the second one is this one from Rogue Territory. So this is uh, Rogue Territory's uh, Explorer jacket, I think, in olive. It is slightly waxed, I believe. So it's got a little bit of a waxed feeling to it, but not not overly, you know, like that sticky kind of wax feeling. Uh, and you can see that in, um, you know, how it looks there. So this for me is kind of, it's an essential, like I'm saying. Uh, it's perfect for country walks. So you layer up with your flannel or with your Loop Wheel Crew sweater and then put this over the top, gives you a little bit of water protection uh, and, it, and it's got loads of pockets. So I don't know if you've seen the Explorer jacket, you've probably seen the supply jacket that everyone's getting now because of the Bond movie, but this is the Explorer jacket and I, I kind of like this better because um, it's, I mean, it's unlined for one, so it's just a shell essentially. Um, and it, it has ample amount of pocket spaces and that's what you want when you go in for country walks. If you've got a dog, you're putting all the dog stuff in inside your pockets, but it, you've got top down pockets, You've got side pockets on both sides as well. Then you've got your chest pocket. But overall, it's a very versatile jacket because it's it's just really, really durable, really kind of waterproofing-ish. Not waterproof, but water resilient. Um, so I highly recommend any kind of wax jacket. This one's from Rogue Territory, as I said. It's a large. Uh, if you're gonna get the Explorer jacket from Rogue Territory, just beware. It runs kind of small, so. I would normally get a medium and this is a large and even the large is all, you know, I would, could have even got an extra large, I think, but this is, this is fine. Right, last but not least, it's essential number six and this is basically accessory stuff that I take with me to the country that, you know, I can't really live without. And the first one for that is a good, really, really good scarf. Scarf I have here is from Acne Studios. Don't know if you've heard of them before, but they are a really, really cool brand. Uh, they have not just scarves, but a lot of other stuff. Uh, this is just their plain gray mile scarf. The really good thing about Acne Studios, their scarves are huge. So if you, if you like a big, big scarf, this just goes for days. It just keeps going. Uh, very, very good, very luxurious feeling. So have a look at Acne Studios and get yourself one of these scarves, they're lovely. If you're into photography, I love taking a good camera with me and I've had this one for many years now. It's the Leica M6 film camera. I know uh, you see these a lot now nowadays. A lot of people have Leica digital cameras, but I'm really big on film and especially black and white. I only shoot black and white with this. Uh, so I take this everywhere I go with the country. The thing I love about film is you can take rolls of film and just store them away. This is what I do. I just take loads of film, store them away, and then maybe when I've got six, seven, eight rolls, I uh, send them off to get developed. I don't develop them myself as yet, but I send them off to get developed. And then it's kind of like a surprise of, of what, you, what you've taken. Uh, some, sometimes I, I, it takes me almost a year, sometimes longer, especially this year. I've got rolls that I've had since last year that I've not developed. So it's gonna be really interesting to see 
what I capture. And the amazing thing is, and I've done this before, is when you're getting those pictures back, getting them uh, blown up, printed and framed is just really, really satisfying. So I recommend, make sure you take a good camera. The iPhone is good, yes, I agree. But if you can get yourself a nice quality camera on those country walks, there's some amazing things that you can take photos. Last but not least, we like to take a smart speaker for the room so we can play some music while we're getting ready to go out for the, to the pub or before we, we're getting ready for breakfast or something like that. We also take our laptop so we can stream our own movies or Netflix or whatever to the TV in the room. But also the last thing I would say to you is don't forget to take your swimming trunks because they also have some really good spa hotels there. Uh, and that's something that we love to do when we go to the country is just got to chill out and relax in the spa there and that's something we need and something i can't wait for after this year it's going to be amazing right that's going to be it guys that's just some of the essentials that i like to take with me on a weekend away let me know in the comments down below if there's anything i missed out or anything that you guys take to the country or on your weekends away that i should uh, look into with all that being said that is going to be a wrap and i'll see you guys in the next one